It is common knowledge that water can put out fire. But at the level of Serta, originally it is not scientific. With the strength of Serta, even if the whole thing falls into the sea, the seawater will burn dry in an instant, and it will basically have no effect. Like Thor's lightning, this isn't something a lightning rod can dodge. But things are a little different now. As a master at the same level as Odin, Serta can be said to be assembled to the teeth, and there are almost no weaknesses in his body. But the problem is that Thor's head was split open with an axe. No matter how wide its defense range is, it can't protect the inside of the head. There was a sound of boiling water, Serta covered his head and let out the most painful scream in his life. It looks like a poor monkey whose head was knocked open and filled with chili oil at some inhuman banquet. Good opportunity, lead. For a moment, countless attacks bombarded Serta's wound. Countless flying swords descended from the sky, and the force of death pierced the head of the bearer from the gap in Serta's palm. Jean Grey psychokinesis drives several water dragons trying to fill them with water. Jane Foster was flying around the edge of the great rift above Serta's head, thinking about how to throw Mjolnir into it. Wanda's red energy covers Serta's head, try to open the gap. Thor was stunned by such an operation, these women are really fierce. On the second holy place, Thanos stood quietly on the throne, he is in a good mood now. Asgard Golden Hall has its own protective cover, which has a strong defense, and it is absolutely impossible to be breached under normal circumstances. A place like the treasure house has always been the place where the most important things are stored, and it is full of various authorities prohibiting it. However, a very powerful magician helped him and opened a portal in Jin Ji's extremely restricted place. I can't see that the group of jugglers who are usually looked down upon are really useful sometimes. Withdrawing his thoughts, he looked up at Gamora. Gamora's face was full of anger and hatred, while Thanos' face was full of helplessness. I hate this room, I hate this ship. Gamora gritted her teeth. I know. Because you always say that, every day. You've been saying it for twenty years. At this point, Thanos changed the subject and said, the reason why you never came back is because you have found the soul gem, right? Gamora was taken aback, looked up, shook his head and said, no, I'm disappointed, I didn't find it. Thanos sighed. I'm really disappointed, but it's not because you didn't find it. It's because you found it, but lied to me. Little guy, I know you too well. Every time you lie I know all the facial expressions and movements well. I taught you all your abilities. I also taught you your kindness and generosity. But, I didn't teach you to lie. You can't lie at all. Tell me, where is the Liang Wei gem? The lie was exposed, and Gamora didn't react at all. She had expected that she couldn't hide it from Thanos. She gritted her teeth and said, you give up. For you, it doesn't matter whether I know the location of Soul Gem or not. Anyway, I can't tell you anyway. You should give up on it. Oh? Thanos showed a grim smile. You will tell me, and tell me on your own initiative. Damn. You are trying to stop the Great Prophecy. You have made a big mistake. Even though his mind had been muddled, Serta was still majestic, as if he had a mission engraved in his bones, it finally swept the Twilight Sword, and then lifted it high. In the next moment, the whole of Asgard heard its announcement, backquote, I, is the end of Asgard. The hundreds of meters long Twilight Sword pierced straight down with unrivaled momentum. This is a destructive blow poured into the life force of a super boss. Once it penetrates the core of Asgard, this paradise that the whole universe envies will collapse and completely become history. Thor soared into the air raised his battle axe to meet him head on, and slammed upwards at the twilight sword falling in the air. Boom. The blade of the sword collided with the blade of the axe, huge amounts of shockwave erupted, and countless people were blown into the air, even including Wanda and Chin Gele, two legal superusers. With a strong momentum, the twilight sword's offensive even retreated for a breath, but it quickly began to suppress. In terms of strength, Thor is far inferior to Surta's opponent. Just as Hela was about to make a move, he suddenly asked in confusion, is there something in outer space approaching quickly? Responding to her was a flash of light, and Carol approached like a shooting star, hitting Serta hard on the head, almost turning him over. However, at this time, Serta seemed to have lost much of his reason, and raised his giant sword to stab again as if for a mission. Seeing this, Carol couldn't help cursing. Every time I come back, I'm a super boss? Are you kidding me? What are you so excited about? Thor muttered something inwardly, and then saw the twilight sword that Serta held up high. Don't let his sword touch the ground, or all of Asgard will be destroyed. He raised his battle axe first to meet him. Carol followed closely behind, and the two caught the giant sword together. The powerful twilight sword paused, and the two sides were in a stalemate in Kongchen. Stupid. Hela threw a huge spike at the right time, slashing across Serta's flaming hand holding the twilight sword. Serta, who was competing for strength, 
let go of his hand, but Thor caught the opportunity and hit his head with an axe. However, there is no soft use. Carol shot out countless energy rays, hitting Surta like nothing, except for drawing some hatred. From the perspective of the Asgard people in the rear, Surta was in a state of embarrassment after being surrounded by a group of people, but only the person involved knew that this kind of beating was not acceptable. With so many people present, Thor's Stormbreaker was the one that could really inflict effective damage on it, even so it was difficult to inflict fatal injuries. Surta with the Eternal Fire is at the full level in terms of defense and life stamina, but Thor and others consume a lot in high-intensity battles. That won't work, this guy is stronger than Thanos, he can't be killed at all. What the hell is this? Carol said out of breath, she is reckless, it doesn't mean a plaque. After fighting for such a long time, I can only play a supporting role. The damage of Thor, the only one who has damage, can't keep up with his own recovery. She had just watched Surta's cracked head heal, and such an attack was not something even Thor would use casually. Surta, the legendary initiator of Ragnarok, he was defeated by my father half a million years ago and took away the eternal fire. We can't kill it, so we can only find a way to take the eternal fire and seal it. So how did your father beat it? The guy is recovering constantly. The characteristics of the eternal fire allow it to be revived infinitely. Unless, our destruction speed exceeds its recovery ability. Carol. You're talking nonsense. Thor stopped arguing with her, and while entangled with Surta, he was thinking hard about a solution to the situation. Fortunately, Surta has a problem with IQ, although he can't be killed, he will be able to hold on for a while. Odin's last words ring in his ears, Asgard was never a place, but a place of people. Is it really necessary to abandon Asgard and transfer the entire race to other planets as in the original history? If that's the case, you'll have to stall for time and let Heimdall take the people away with Bifrost. Wait, Bifrost? Thor suddenly had a bold idea. He shouted, Heimdall, the power of Bifrost, can you teleport Surta? Heimdall was taken aback, and replied loudly, It's useless, it's too powerful, unless there is no resistance, my strength is not enough to complete the teleportation. You are not enough, there is me. Thor laughed and said, Then let the perpetrators feel the destruction of their homeland. Carol, you hold it. Jane, strike her with lightning, maximum power. Carol rolled her eyes. What does it mean to strike me with lightning? Although it sounds like this, can your wording be more appropriate? Jane Foster was at a loss. Ah? What? But isn't she on our side? Seeing Serta stabbing down from the air with another sword, Carol put his hands on the edge of the sword and still couldn't stop falling. Jane no longer hesitated, let out a big drink. Boom. A thunderbolt hit Carol. In the next moment, Carol's whole body was full of light, and he pushed away the twilight sword as if he had been injected with chicken blood, and hit Surta's chin with a fang-long punch. The body hundreds of meters high crashed to the ground. Jane Foster was dumbfounded, so I was a power bank? Thor quickly landed beside Heimdall and asked, Do you know the coordinates of Titan? Yes. Heimdall nodded. That's easy. Take me there, and we'll take Surta over. There is? Awaken Surta's homeland of the culprit. Thor sneered. The biggest reason why Thanos made up his mind to embark on the path of half-destruction was to witness the destruction of Titan. Although there are no natives there anymore, that place obviously has a different meaning to Thanos. Ragnarok, not Asgard's twilight, but Titan's twilight. Titan, the former home of Thanos. Here, like many other planets, the population is exploding and resources are limited. When the population reached a certain level, Thanos proposed a solution massacre. Completely random, without any personal emotion, without distinction between rich and poor. The scheme definitely did not pass. In the end, in the process of scrambling for resources, they destroy themselves. Thanos, the only survivor. When Thor set foot on this land, what he saw was a barren land without any life. In fact, after the demise of the Titans, the planet is slowly recovering and has become a habitable planet again. The reason why there are so few people is probably because of Thanos. As a former homeland, even if the tribe is no longer there, it will not let other races get involved. But today, this former homeland will also be reduced to ashes. Thor lifts Stormbreaker. After Thor left Asgard, the battle situation became more and more precarious. The real main force in the battle is only Hela and Carol. Hela is better at attacking, the black flying sword shoots like Gatling, and Yondu's sentry arrows are not as good as her. Destroy all of Asgard except Thor. No kidding. The problem is that the Surta who holds the eternal fire has its own undead attribute, and it doesn't have to rely on Asgard like Hela. Hela is against this product, and the attribute is completely restrained. There is only one helmet left, and it can be resurrected with full blood. 
Unlimited defense plus unlimited life means that offensive heroes are greatly reduced. But the problem is that the superheroes present are almost full of Crispy Magician, Wanda, and Chin Gele with high attack and low defense. The only one who can resist is Carol, and this is on the premise of bringing an infinite power bank. Despite Jane Foster's occasional thunderous charge, Carol still has a hard time limiting Serta's movements. She is already struggling to deal with it now. The violent energy has plunged the entire city into a sea of flames. Outside the city, the soldiers and civilians of Asgard looked at the nearly destroyed city with dull eyes. Boom, with a loud noise, a statue collapsed and turned into ruins all over the place. This is the statue of Bor, the ancestor of Odin and grandfather of Thor. If it was the old days, Loki would definitely gloat heavily, and then get beaten up. But now he is not in the mood. Loki glanced at Frigga with a lonely face, and said in a low voice, the extent of the damage is actually not bad. As long as the foundation is still there, it doesn't matter if the city collapses, we will rebuild our home. One day, this place will once again become the paradise envied by the whole universe. As if to confirm this sentence, just as Loki finished speaking, a rainbow of seven colors spanned the sky and earth, connecting Titan and Asgard, which are countless light years away. The light of Bifrost enveloped Serta, as if to drag him away whole. Despite losing much of his sanity, Serta was still struggling. Seeing this, Heimdall immediately inserted the Guardian Sword into the mechanism, and another Bifrost enveloped it. Two waves of Bifrost power, one pushing and the other dragging, the still struggling Serta was finally lifted up slowly, and then turned into a streamer and flew into the sky. Successful. Titan Star, the berserk breath swept here. Serta, with a high IQ of 5 points, doesn't realize that the venue has changed. All he knew was that those annoying flies were no longer there, and the only Thor was floating high in midair at this moment seemingly no longer out of samadhi. He raised the twilight sword in his hand, and let out an iconic roar, I, is the end of Asgard. Kacha. The twilight sword broke through the ground, and the endless power penetrated the earth's crust in an instant, reaching the depths of the earth's core. A muffled sound came. The next moment, overwhelming flames enveloped the entire titan star, the earth trembled and cracked inch by inch, and magma erupted. It was probably roaring, and then it was instantly evaporated by the sweeping flames, revealing the cracked ground bed. The huge titan star, the entire planet is shaking violently. Boom. Even Thor, who ran a few light years away, saw the dazzling light flash away in the distance, and then completely dim. This is the last ray of light erupting from a planet. Titan star. This planet that was once known to everyone in the universe, exploded into countless debris in the extremely dazzling light at this moment, and ceased to exist. Serta who created all these, is floating in the universe at a loss, as if he has lost his purpose in life. Holy place number two, Thanos, who had just returned from a trip, felt something, as if something very important was lost. He thought hard and couldn't think of a reason. Shaking his head, he pushed the strange thought out of his mind. Now is not the time to think about other things, if there is anything, we will wait until the balance of the universe is completed. In fact, he really wanted to take the opportunity to attack Asgard on a large scale and take the three gems on Thor's body into his bag. But this kind of risk is very high. After all, if the other party really risked everything to fight their own lives, there is a high probability that they will overturn. Drip. Congratulations to the host for triggering vision-related missions, the hatchet ending. Mission Description. As a superhero who died twice in a row within one minute, Vision's tragedy can be imagined. What's even more tragic is that one of them was killed by his lover. Now, since Vision's emotional line has been cut off, it's time to experience Vision's ending. Mission Objective. To be killed by one's lover. Mission Reward. The character's exclusive plugin is triggered once. Just when I returned to Asgard to report the good news, I heard the mission prompt. The system that has not released tasks for a long time has once again shown its presence. The task reward Thor will not consider it for the time being, because his complaints are all about the task content. By the way, Mr. System seems to have a problem with his EQ, the hatchet ending? Vision is called sacrificing one's life for righteousness, not a hatchet, okay? Um, is the hatchet ending referring to me? Thinking of the huge number of girls around him, Wanger shuddered. The task content is simple, be killed by your lover. Countless mud horses galloped past Thor's heart. Everyone is dead, what a cheat. Looking at Wanda not far away, Thor couldn't help but stop her. Wanda, um, kill me and try, I don't. Wanda glared at him, thinking he was joking. Even if I die, I won't hurt you. Wanda ran away angrily, and Thor spread his hands. Natalia came over with a puzzled face. What's the matter? What are you doing, making everyone angry? It's nothing. 
I just asked her to try and see if she could beat me to death. Natalia glanced at Thor with caring eyes for the mentally retarded, and stood a little further away silently. Poor child, was beaten stupid by Serta, Natalia's heart hurts. Well, this plug-in probably has no chance to get it. First of all, I have no chance to die. No one knows how powerful the Man of Steel is. Not only is it the strongest defense in the universe, but also its recovery ability is second to none, much stronger than Serta. If it weren't for the scruples, the ten Asgard Thors could fight Serta forever. According to Thor's speculation, there are not many people in this universe who can kill themselves, even the dead Odin can't do it. The only way, I'm afraid, is to snap the fingers of the six jewels. Definitely driving the power of Stormbreaker by itself can also break Man of Steel. But Stormbreaker is blessed and can only be used by itself, and will not harm the master by default. Having said that, why was the vision mission suddenly triggered, and at this time? Thor and Vision have been in contact many times, and there is no trace of triggering the mission. Moreover, just now I didn't even think about anything about Vision, how could it be triggered so suddenly? What exactly does Vision do? Thor suddenly felt a surge of alarm. Immediately took out the communicator and checked, damn it, hundreds of missed calls. Steve, Stark, Hawkeye, Banner. Almost all the Avengers left on Earth called themselves. In the battle with Serta just now, violent energy enveloped Asgard, swallowing all communication signals. Realizing that something was wrong, Thor quickly called Vision. BB. No respond. Thor's face became more serious, he thought about it, and called Stark again. Thor you bastard. Stark's voice sounded full of energy, but Thor could still hear a little tiredness. What happened? Thor asked in a deep voice, ignoring him. What the hell are you? Stark yelled furiously, cursing for a full minute before stopping. He took a few deep breaths and said in a low voice, Thanos is here. Vision is dead, Thanos has taken the mind gem, and the time gem from Doctor Strange's chest. An hour ago. As Serta raged across Asgard, its roar was heard almost throughout the galaxy, not to mention Thanos, who kept his eyes on Asgard. With great difficulty, Thanos suppressed his desire to take advantage of the fire. For one thing, Serta is an indiscriminate attack regardless of whether it is the enemy or the enemy, and he intervenes hastily, but the effect is not very good. Secondly, I have more important things to do now. Asgard's three infinite gems have been counted, except for the missing soul gem, the remaining two are on the Earth. Thor and the rest of the Avengers were held back by Ragnarok, and Earth's defenses may be at their most vulnerable at this time. Vision was the first to be attacked. Vision, who owns the Mind Gem, is regarded by many as one of the strongest Avengers. Except for Thor and Carol, who has not returned to Earth for a long time, almost no one can beat him. And Vibranium's body and the property of passing through matter also make him not easy to be attacked like many crispy heroes. So Vision usually acts alone. On a street in London, Vision, who was out on a mission, was attacked from behind by Corvus Glaive. Ah. Vision looked at the spear point protruding from his chest in disbelief. He immediately found out in despair that this gun restrained his use of gem energy, and many abilities could not be used, including the most important flight. Fortunately, as a vibranium robot, Vision itself is also very strong. Quietly sent a signal to Stark, then pushed Corvus Glaive away with all his strength, and the mind gem above his head violently shot a ray. Ziz. The double-edged gun in the hands of President Corvus Glaive easily blocked the rays. Apparently, they've been working on Vision for a long time. Perhaps, when Thanos sent Loki to invade the Earth, he originally tampered with Mind Gem. If it's just a Corvus Glaive, Vision might be able to hold off until reinforcements arrive. It's a pity that Ebony Ma and Proxima Midnight are also here at the same time. The Black Order, with the exception of the dead Supergiant and Black Dwarf, are all in, it's a dead end for Vision. The rays above Vision's head didn't last long, and the pain from the gems from time to time made it hard for him to hold on. Boom. Proxima Midnight made another sneak attack, knocking Vision into the air. People are not around to watch you fight alone, especially this husband and wife team, they have always cooperated with each other. Ebony Maw stretched out his hand, and several vines stretched out from the ground out of thin air, binding Vision tightly, making him unable to move. It's over. Corvus Glaive stepped forward, raised the double-bladed spear and stabbed Vision in the forehead. Abes. Vision screamed. What happened? Corvus Glaive was puzzled to find that the Mind Gem couldn't be pried out no matter how hard it was. Compared with the original, Vision is both unfortunate and fortunate. Unfortunately, in this life, he didn't have Wanda's cover by his side, nor did he have the exiled captain of the United States and others to support him. On the contrary, there was an extra Ebony Maw on the opposite side. I was backstabbed once, and I couldn't even hit one, but now there are three, 
What a mess. The only luck is that he got a piece of the hardest celestial cap in the whole universe. Could it be that green metal? Ebony Ma wondered. They had noticed earlier that Vision's skull was green in color, as opposed to the red color of his body. This is an unnamed alloy brought back by Carol from space, which is far harder than vibranium, and it played a major role at this time. Black Order is a bit difficult. This wave of their attacks was originally for the purpose of taking them by surprise. It is best to take the gem and leave, any delay may cause side effects. The boss came up, Thanos walked slowly, took a good look at Vision, and then grabbed him by the neck. Well. Vision couldn't move under the pressure of Thanos. He had already guessed Thanos' identity, and was horrified. It's useless to resist. Mind gem, I put it on the earth. Thanos grinned grinningly, stretched out his other hand, clasped the gem, and twisted it hard. Gem when C does not move. Black Order looked away, as if a crow flew over Thanos' head. In the distance, a streamer is rushing to order. As soon as he received the call for help, Stark rushed over quickly. Despite the amazing speed of Iron Man flight equipped with the latest armor, the distance from New York to London is far away, and the battle on Vision's side is over quickly. Thanos is annoyed. Glancing sideways, he sneered and said, You think I can't do anything about you if you can't get the gem? He held down Vision's skull and twisted it hard. Crack. Vision's neck snapped. When Stark arrived, what he saw was Vision's headless corpse, which had turned Vibranium's original black color due to death. It's true that Thanos can't break the green metal for a while, but he can unscrew the vibranium. So, he just screwed Vision's head off. Bastard, who the hell? Stark growled in rage. As a robot he made with his own hands, and with the consciousness of Jarvis introduced, Stark has a deep affection for Vision, like a family. It's Thanos. A somewhat familiar voice came from behind. Doctor Strange steps out of a golden portal. Stark turned around abruptly. Who are you talking about? Thanos. Damn, he's here. It's a name that's been on his mind for years, since the great New York fight. Especially when he learned the details of Thanos from Thor, he was extremely cautious. Over the years, his battle armor research has been extremely fast, and it has been updated almost every month. Many people think that Stark is rich and willful, but he is not. He is trying to improve himself so that he has the ability to fight against Thanos. Originally, I planned to find another gem, but I didn't expect you to deliver it yourself? An indifferent voice sounded, Stark was startled, turned around, and saw the imaginary enemy countless times, Thanos. Hand over the gem so you can live. Thanos looked at Strange and said in a low voice. Although the tone was very flat, Stark and Strange still felt a burst of pressure. Friday, call Alding Knee. Stark was not big enough to single out Thanos, he immediately called Thor, the strongest Avenger. Yes, sir. Beep. Beep. Sorry, the user you called has no answer at the moment. Please try again later. Shit. Stark cursed. Thanos saw what he was thinking, and sneered. There is no need to call for help. Asgard, it is hard to protect itself now. After today, it is hard to say whether there is Asgard. This time Thor is fighting with Surta. Stark gritted his teeth and slapped the reactor on his chest. Then I'll do it myself. With the reactor as the center, the red battle suit spread out to the surroundings, covering his whole body. Mark 50. The latest battle armor that was successfully developed last week, is also the first set of formal steel nano armor. Thanks to nanotechnology, armor has entered a whole new realm. Weapons such as guns, cannons, shields, and swords can be combined with nanoparts. Facing Thanos' rushing punch, Stark squatted down, raised his hands, and a shield appeared out of thin air. Boom! The shield holds back Thanos' thrusting fist. In the next moment, a large number of jets appeared around the shield, pushing Thanos up with one push. Thanos staggered from the unexpected blow. Randomly, Stark pointed forward with both hands, and four half-moon mechs flew out from behind him. The blue lasers condense and shoot at Thanos in unison. Boom. With a loud bang, Thanos backed away dozens of meters before stopping. Before Thanos could react, Stark condensed a triangular dagger composed of nanomaterials in his hand, and rushed forward, heading straight for Thanos' forehead. A golden halo appeared in front of his eyes, Stark got into it instantly appeared in the air behind Thanos, and stabbed Thanos hard on the back of the head. Thanos punched back, and Stark was already dodging through another portal. Cooperating with Doctor Strange's portal, Stark can appear in places Thanos can't care about every time. Thanos quickly found the magician who was hiding on the side and casting spells. Regardless of Stark's attack, he twisted off a utility pole by the side of the road and threw it over. Strange quickly dodged, and the magic stopped immediately. Stark took the opportunity to stab Thanos in the back in large numbers. However, 
Thanos moved faster, and his fighting skills were the best in the universe. He returned, grabbed Stark, and gave him a headbutt. Boom, Stark flew upside down for a few hundred meters, even with the protection of his battle armor, he was still dizzy. Before landing, he subconsciously fired a missile. Hey, it's interesting. Thanos smiled faintly, grabbed the missile and threw it backhanded. Stark, who had just got up, hurried out of the way. Boom. A building was blown up. Collapsed towards Stark, burying him whole in an instant. Okay, now it's just you. Stark was crushed in the rubble and couldn't get out for a while. Thanos looked up at Doctor Strange. Strange shook his head. I don't think so. Because, it means you need to confront a magician head on. Thanos was noncommittal. Hand over the rough stones. The meaning of their existence is to help me complete my mission. As long as all six gems are collected, half the life in the universe will disappear with just a snap of your fingers, without any feeling. This, too. My kindness to them. Totally random, regardless of race, high or low. I think that's compassion. Strange stood up slowly. And then. Then, it's a long lost rest. Amidst the gratitude and curses of the whole universe, watch the sunrise. Only the most powerful will can make the most difficult choice. Strange sneered and made seals with his hands, it's Thanos who speaks of genocide so great. Thanos sighed. I never expected all to understand me. Opposite, Strange struck the ground with both hands, unleashing two powerful bolts of magical lightning, which headed towards Thanos, causing huge amounts of damage to the ground passing by. Unfortunately, Thanos jumped into the air, dodged the blow, and punched him. Although Kamar Taj's lineage is basically a melee magician, there is still a big gap between them and an authentic barbarian like Thanos. In just a few rounds, the legend of history was forced to make a big move, the shape of Aishi. This is a skill similar to duplication, the difference is that each duplication retains a part of ability. Numerous duplications surrounded Thanos, a red light flashed in his hand, and at the same time he used the sector red belt, firmly pinning Thanos' hands. This is a very powerful magic tie, even with Thanos' strength, it is difficult to break free. Ah. When the red belt is pulled, even the room is destroyed with a loud sound. Facing magicians like Kamar Taj who are proficient in all kinds of strange magic, pure fighters like Thanos are the most troublesome. Even if it doesn't cause any harm, all kinds of harassment and control still make him very uncomfortable. In the original book, Thanos is dead, and I have the gems in my hand, so it is naturally easy to deal with Doctor Strange. Strange has seen this ending, and now he wants to see how the empty-handed Thanos without gems can break his trick. Now Thanos is not hanging, he has a thick skin. Where are everyone? Come and help me. Hoo hoo. A truck came flying in midair, making a quick circle around Thanos, and Strange's duplications pop like pop balloons one by one. Only the main body opened a shield at a critical moment and carried it hard. Strange was knocked to the ground and was about to fight back, when several vines rose from the ground, tied him tightly, and sent him to Mie. Thanos grabbed Strange by the neck and taunted. Your tricks have become better, magician. It's a pity that you don't have a chance to use your ultimate weapon. Strange rolled his eyes, you shameless two on one, do you still have face? Ebony Ma hid behind and shot quietly, pretending that I didn't know. If you are capable of single handedly, I can beat you with tricks down. Obviously, the thick skin of Thanos' old thief is comparable to the armor of Holy Place number two. Pulled off the eye of Agamotto and shook it hard, the debris in one hand. Fake? Thanos' face darkened, and he threw him to the ground. You pissed me off, juggler. The defect of the crispy magician remained here, and Strange was hit so badly that his waist was sore and his back hurt, and he couldn't even climb up for a while. Boom. From the ruins not far away, a red figure soared into the sky and flew in front of Strange to face Thanos. If you hit me with a building again, I'm going to lose control. Stark? I know you, you are a man cursed by knowledge, Thanos said flatly. He was answered by a barrage of missiles. In the sky full of smoke and dust, the battle armor of Stark's legs merged into one, and he kicked Thanos hard on the head, knocking him back. All energy was concentrated on the arm, and he punched this purple potato face hard. Boom, Thanos brushed the wound on his face with his left hand, and said with a sneer, it took so much effort, just to make me bleed. This was the first time in the entire battle that Stark had the upper hand. And for the last time, Thanos flipped him over and beat Stark so hard his mother didn't even recognize him. Thick-skinned as thick-skinned. In fact Thanos is a very proud person, being beaten to blood by a lowly creature in his eyes is definitely a very shameful thing for a titan star. Although Thor fought harder in Nadawi back then, at least the opponent was also a god, and he also had a super artifact like Gengnur in his hand. It's not that Stark didn't try to resist, but after all, 
it was difficult for him to fight against a powerhouse of Thanos level. He is a hunk with a military body punching and partying Hulk. Thanos, who launched the ruthless attack, lived up to his name, his steel armor was torn open like paper, and he pulled Stark out with one hand. This scene declared that the power of mortals was finally defeated by the gods. The Iron Man at this meeting has been seriously injured, with several broken bones all over his body, unable to move. Thanos lifted him up and whispered in his ear. I admire you, Mr. Stark. After my plan succeeds, half of humanity will survive, I hope they will remember you. You are a true fighter and I will give you a decent death. Stop. Strange, who was unconscious at the side, woke up at some point, he whispered. Let him go, I will give you the rough stone. Thanos gave him a thoughtful look and nodded. A gemstone exuding a green brilliance slowly floated into Thanos' hands. Why give it to him? Thanos and the Black Order left, Stark was too weak to stand up, he still turned his head to Strange, gritted his teeth. Do you know, he will destroy a billion people. I'm sorry, Mr. Stark. Strange said lightly, he has already obtained the Mind Gem, and he can use it to control me at any time, so as to obtain the Time Gem. And, he can only get three gems at most. Of the six infinite gems, three are in Thor's hands, which he can't get anyway. But Thanos just said that Asgard is also in trouble now. Strange shook his head. No, their troubles are probably over by now. In the distance, a supersonic fighter roared and rushed to land, and a vigorous figure jumped down. Oh. Mr. Stark, what happened? Why is it so badly hurt? T'Challa, the Black Panther who had reclaimed his throne, was the first to arrive, and lifted him up with a concerned face. Your injuries are serious, and you may be paralyzed. Come back to Wakanda with me, and we will heal you. He greeted Strange and helped Stark onto the plane. Strange watched the fighter plane leave. A golden circle of light slowly appeared beside him. Fatty Wong came out with a complicated face, and asked in bewilderment, Why did you hand over the eye of Agamotto? You lied to him. As the holder of the time gem, even the mind gem has no control over it. Strange was silent for a while, then whispered, Because, in the ending we want, Stark is an indispensable part. All was settled when Thor dealt with Surta's threats and contacted Stark. Vision was killed and Stark was seriously injured. What's more, Thanos has collected both gems. The status of the six rough stones is the same, no one is higher than the other. It stands to reason that mastering power, reality, and big gems is the place to lose. But the problem is that Thor knows very well that the only thing he really uses is a power gem. Reality gem is also a liquid in the state of ether. Asgard doesn't study it enough. The teleportation ability of the space gem is very useful to others, but I have mastered both sling ring and bifrost, which is useless. And Thanos knows infinite gems far better than anyone else, and he can play with every gem. Thor thought for a moment and made a call. The phone displays a busy tone. Then I made several phone calls, but none of them got through. Thor's face was a little dignified. Here's how to get in touch with the Guardians of Galaxy folks. Thanos is already on the move. As the strongest existence among gemstone owners, the three gemstones on his body must be the most difficult to obtain in the eyes of Thanos, and Thanos will definitely try to obtain other rough gemstones first. No one knows better than him what it means for Yinhu to lose contact at this time. Kuchichi. In a room at Holy Place No. 2, a group of scientific researchers are manipulating a set of cutting instruments to cut a piece of green metal. Thanos watched Tiger blankly from the side. This is Vision's skull. I don't know where this strange alloy came from. No matter what can't break it open. The mind gem that I have already obtained, but because of this thing, I still can't get it off. An abrupt voice came. Why let him go? Thanos didn't look back. He has given me the gem. Don't forget your agreement with my master. I promise to destroy Kamar Taj, and I will do it naturally, and I will never break my promise. Don't treat me as your master who can't afford to lose. Thanos stopped his movements, turned back and said in a deep voice, How do I, I have the final say. He also had some disdain in his heart, if he promised something, he would definitely abide by it, instead of beating around the bush to take advantage of loopholes. Asgard, Thor pondered for a long time, and finally made up his mind. Although Nebula is not in Thanos' hands in this life, Thanos can also force Gamora to submit by torturing the Silver Guardians, especially Star-Lord. He couldn't count on how long Gamora could delay, the initiative had to be regained. He whispered, Natalia, come with me. Where to? Vomir Star. Under the ruins of the Golden Hall, Hela pulled out the corpse of an Asgard soldier. With a wave of his hand, a dark green light covered him. Green flames were burning strangely in the soldier's eyes. Both Frigga and the three Asgard warriors behind him frowned. This behavior is tantamount to desecrating the bodies of soldiers who died heroically. 
but they had to. Jean Grey put her hand on his head, trying to check his memory. A few minutes later, he shook his head, his memory has been defective, and the important part is lost. Or, he didn't see. Hela said indifferently. Then change it. Asgard's palace treasury, even I can't force it into it, let alone quietly. If you don't find out the reason, it will be a time bomb. You may not be so lucky next time. Or, we have an inner ghost with a high status, and there are more than one. Several people glanced at Loki. From their point of view, Loki is the biggest suspect, because of his background and previous convictions. Loki is expressionless. Frigg shook her head and said, it won't be Loki, I trust him. Hela continued. There is also a possibility that a very powerful magician opened a portal. The Golden Hall has a lot of restrictions, and there are not many magicians who can use space magic here. As far as I know, there is one on Earth. Hela will never forget, the bald ant was able to beat her in seconds, and she can open the door at will in Odin's seal. The Sorcerer Supreme of Kamar Taj, Ancient One, but she is dead. Frigg still shook her head. Vomir Star, this is a dead planet. Obviously, some atmospheres also have water that can support human survival, and are suitable for survival in all aspects, but there is no trace of any biological existence. Oh, there should be one on top of the mountain, if he doesn't count as a creature. As soon as Natalia came here, her face changed. She had seen this place before, in, Wanda's frightening dream. This place has a nice view, what do you think? If it weren't for something happening right now, it would be nice to come here for a vacation. Thor was not used to the depressing atmosphere here, so he joked. In normal times, Natalia would have slapped him with anger. This kind of place where people don't shit or lay eggs, you tell me you're on vacation. Is this an easy way to get rid of my old lady? But now, she didn't blow her hair, but looked at Thor with full eyes. Well, you can do whatever you say. Thor glanced at her somewhat, inexplicably. When did Black Widow become so gentle? He couldn't help touching her forehead with his hand. It stands to reason that this is another action that can make her go crazy. However, Natalia still smiled slightly, grabbed Thor's hand, and covered her face. Thor. Hell today. Well, I really saw a ghost today, a monster with a face that looked like a skeleton, floating in the air and looking neither human nor ghost floated over. Welcome. Thor Odinson, son of Odin. Natalia Romanova, daughter of Ivan. I am the guide that leads everyone to the soul gem. I thought that the other party would react at least it needed an explanation. But neither Thor nor Natalia was moved, as if they knew it a long time ago. Thor is because she knows the plot, and Natalia is because she has experienced it. A hoarse voice came from Red Skull. What you are looking for is close at hand, accompanied by your fear. Soul Gem is revered among infinite gems, it has its own wisdom. Everyone who wants to get Soul Gem, all need sacrifices. Sacrifice what? Natalia tried to confirm. A soul, and it must be the soul of the person you love the most. If you want to get the original stone, you must lose your love. This is an eternal deal. Only by changing souls can the user know its preciousness. Natalia looked at Thor with tenderness on her face. I've known this moment since you brought me here. I didn't expect that at the last moment. I could still understand your heart. It turns out that your true love is me. In this case, I have no regrets. Then she ran to the cliff and jumped off wouldn't it be nice to die as Thor's favorite, just like what happened in Visions. Natalia thought so then plunge into a golden halo. On the second holy place, Thanos finally succeeded in separating all the alloys and got the mind gem. The figure flashed and appeared beside Gamora. Tell me, where is the soul gem? I told you, I will never tell you. Very good. With a wave of Thanos' hand, a screen lights up, which is the monitoring of the cell. Those of her partners are being tortured at the moment. The worst thing was the Star-Lord she cared about the most. Ebony Ma manipulated several iron chains around his limbs and head, pulling them bit by bit like a five-horse corpse. Ah 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 ah, Star-Lord's painful screams came, Gamora couldn't help covering her ears, and yelled, Bastard, you, you are too despicable. You have a chance to save him. Thanos said indifferently, This kid is not bad, and I don't want to kill him either. As long as you tell me the location of the gem. Impossible. Gamora calmed down and looked at Thanos with hatred on his face. I said, Even if we all die, I will not let you succeed. Better bend than bend. Thanos shook his head, it's a pity that their deaths will be meaningless. With a wave of his right hand, a golden gemstone gleamed on the glove. You know the function of mind gem, right? I can completely control you with the power of the original stone, and tell me everything I want to know. But I don't want to do that. Boom Natalia fell hard to the ground. Opening his eyes dizzily, seeing Thor with a narrow face, he couldn't help cursing, my old lady. I've been in free fall for ten minutes, you bastard. 
Do you know how hard it is for me to muster up the courage? How dare you cheat me like this? Go to hell, you scumbag. Four laughed. This is your punishment for making your own decisions. Pulling her up, the words became much gentler. I want to obtain the gemstone, so as to stop Thanos' original intention, which is to protect everyone in you. If you need to sacrifice instead, wouldn't it be putting the cart before the horse? Natalia's eyes brightened. Red Skull's voice came out suddenly. Don't listen to his nonsense, he won't let you dance because he doesn't love you most. I'm afraid he doesn't know who his favorite is. Thor seeing his unlucky face, Natalia couldn't help but burst out laughing. Thor stared at Red Skull with a murderous face. Red Skull, right? I remember you. Unexpectedly, Red Skull became excited all of a sudden. Bastard. I would have remembered you a long time ago. If you hadn't sent out the secret signal 70 years ago, my great cause would have been completed long ago, and I wouldn't be here place. Red Skull hates it. Steve's various actions back then were like fish in water, and the big reason was that the Hydra code was leaked. Many times, when the group of brainwashed idiots heard, Hydra hail, they immediately trusted unconditionally like chicken blood, put away their weapons, and swaggered forward. At the beginning, he didn't know the consequences, and he didn't know Thor's true identity until he became an Asgardian of Soul Gem. Glancing at Red Skull, who collapsed to the ground after being beaten up by Thor, Natalia asked suspiciously, since it's not to get gems, then why did you bring me here? Definitely for Soul Gem. Huh? Natalia was confused. Then he thought of something, pointed to the Red Skull who fell on the ground. Soul for soul, does it count as throwing this guy down? Red Skull turned and ran in fright. Thor laughed and said, just him. What a fart, is Soul Gem so easy to deceive? Then what are your plans? Thor calmed down and said seriously, I brought you here not to make you sacrifice, but to let you take the gem back. What's the meaning? Thor was very embarrassed, and said in a low voice, It means that I can't be sure who I love the most, but I can be sure that your favorite must be me. As soon as the words fell, Thor jumped down under Natalia's shocked gaze. No, in the originally dark Vomir Starball, a dazzling light illuminated the sky. I saw. Among the ruins of Asgard, Chin Shaw suddenly called out. What did you see? Hela asked hastily. I saw it, a magician in a yellow robe, opened the portal and let the enemy in. The way and the dress, very similar to Kamar Taj, but I don't know him. She had accompanied Thor to Kamar Taj, and had a certain understanding of him. However, the other party's eye circles are particularly dark, and his face is also very strange, not like a regular magician at all. Frigga was a little dignified, perhaps, I know who is behind the scenes. Loki never said a word. Fandral beside him said, Okay, Loki, your suspicions have been cleared, don't take it to heart. She stretched out her hand to pat his shoulder, but it was empty. Uh. What's going on? When Natalia woke up, she was lying in a lake, as if in a dream. But the orange gemstone in her hand was telling her that this was not a dream. I once thought that I had forgotten the tears. At this moment, she held the gemstone tightly, holding back tears, but finally couldn't help crying out loud. Suddenly, Soul Gem trembled and struggled violently, as if it was about to leave her palm. Surprised, Natalia held the gem firmly. However, the power of the gemstone was too strong, and finally broke free from her hand and flew into the distance. No, boom. The fast-fleeing Soul Gem seemed to be mounted on a wall, suddenly stood upright, and then trembled violently. A familiar voice sounded. Since you have come out, don't even think about going back. Natalia's eyes widened. Thor. A familiar figure appeared out of nowhere in front of him, tightly holding the soul gem that was trying to escape. Natalia was taken aback for a moment, and no longer had the restraint of being a black widow, she jumped up in surprise and joy, and hugged him. Thor embraced the widow in one hand and soul gem in the other, and said in a low voice, I know, you have your own thoughts. Although I don't know where your strange rules come from, but since you have passed the test, then honestly become my weapon. I can promise that for up to ten years, I will set you free. I know that you like to devour souls. I will sacrifice tens of millions of souls to you. You will not lose money on this deal. Otherwise, I can destroy you right now. Let go of Natalia, and on the other hand, the light of the power gem flickers. Although the routine of one-handed carrot and the other-handed stick is simple, it is easy to use. An emotionless voice sounded in Thor's heart. Why should I believe you? Thor froze for a moment, and said, just because, I am the strongest in this universe. The vibration of Soul Gem slowly stopped. Thor vaguely felt that there was a connection between himself and the gem. Within ten years, Soul Gem was completely driven by himself, even more reliable than other rough gems. Natalia regained her sanity from the mixed sorrow and joy, and asked in confusion, Thor, what is going on? I can explain it to you. 
Another figure appeared in the dark, the god of pranks, Loki. My transformation technique is almost the same as the original body, and no one can tell the difference. In fact, it is not the real Thor who jumped down, but an illusion. Loki has a smug look on his face. Trick the fabled infinite gems and put a radiant glow on the face of the god of mischief. Thor glanced at him, but didn't see through his arrogance. Go to the phantom to deceive Soul Gem. It's just to deceive the earthlings like Natalia who don't understand the original stone. In fact, only the original stone can fool the original stone. The last of the three infinite gems coupons obtained 20 years ago, Soul Gem creates an indistinguishable soul that is exactly the same as the target, generated at the specified location. Time and place are optional. Valid for one minute. Loki's illusion just created a shell, and what really hides from Soul Gem is a soul exactly like Thor. For a minute, this soul is absolutely real. No one in the entire universe could tell the difference except Thor. Soul Gem devoured the sacrificial soul and emerged contentedly. But when the statute of limitations passed, it realized that it had been cheated, struggling to leave but was caught by Thor. Being deceived by the soul created by his own power, Soul Gem can be regarded as shooting himself in the foot. So, what would you do if you hadn't tricked the Soul Gem? Would you sacrifice me, or one of us? Natalia asked. Thor shook his head. No I'm not Thanos, the victory that requires sacrifice is never a real victory, and I will not leave a lifetime of regrets. If I don't succeed, I will destroy the entire Vomir star ball, along with the gems. He took out the battle axe. The purpose of my gems is to make Thanos lose one gem, that's all. This is what really solves him. In the vast universe, Carol Danvers is flying absent-mindedly. She was thinking about the past. Facing the large-scale attack of the Kree, the screws finally couldn't stand it anymore. The Kree issued an ultimatum, requiring the Skrulls to surrender unconditionally within one day, and the whole family became slaves and lived. Otherwise, let this race be completely exterminated. Talos finally couldn't bear it and sent a distress signal to Carol. Carol was troubled. Although Serta's crisis has been resolved, it is really difficult for her to walk away at this critical moment when Thanos is about to launch an all-out attack at any time. Unexpectedly, it was Thor who persuaded her to go to the rescue. This is a conspiracy. Thanos and the Kree are definitely in collusion. They deliberately attack at this time to hold you back. Ultimatum. This day is not for the Skrulls to consider, but for you to rush back of. Then you still let me go? Carol asked. Thanos' apparent strength is far inferior to ours, so he has to use various layout designs. But in the face of absolute strength, all conspiracies and tricks are useless. Don't worry, as long as I am still alive, Mie will not win. I would make him and his entire force space junk. Go. Don't leave any regrets. Withdrawing his thoughts, Carol looked forward. An extremely huge spaceship came into view. Holy place no 07, Thanos super stronghold. Carol showed a subtle smile, and said to himself, I won't let you have any regrets. On the holy place 2 spaceship, Thanos has just left with Gamora, heading for Vomir star. With Thanos in possession of the mind gem, Gamora knows she can't hide it. For the safety of her companions, she had to agree to take Thanos to find the gem. And her companion was left as a hostage in holy place 2. It's been a whole day since Gamora was taken away by this purple sweet potato essence, and there's no news yet. Will something happen? Xingju asked worriedly, looking at his teammates, hoping to get a word of comfort. However, Rocket Raccoon gave a supplementary knife. It's hard to say, although he is Gamora's godfather, but these days the real father is not necessarily reliable. Drax added. Thanos is an executioner with blood on his hands. He has no humanity at all. Father daughter. See how much Gamora hates him. Damn. Xingju said angrily, we must find a way to save Gamora. Rocket lowered his voice and said with a smirk, why don't you dance again, Quill, and Groot reaches out to open the room? Star Lord. Even if I, Quill, stay in this life and die inside, I will never use such a disgusting method again. It's not your face that loses your feelings, are you already used to watching me dance? A few minutes later, several people quietly walked out of the cell. It smells so good. Quell, do you feel something is wrong? Rocket touched Star Lord's arm. No, Xingju grimaced. Rocket Raccoon whispered, You have to trust my sixth sense. Anyway, it's a raccoon. Animals have the instinct to perceive danger. The next moment, a piercing siren sounded. I rely on you, dead bear, crow's mouth. Xingju almost jumped up. I betrayed my integrity and escaped from prison in less than a minute, so don't get caught again. Rocket pulled him back and said in a low voice, This is already an alarm for the entire spaceship. We are not worthy. The siren that resounded throughout Holy Place Number 2, naturally couldn't be for the little jokes of Guardians of Galaxy. 
In the control room, Ebony Maw looked at Captain Marvel rushing towards him with a livid face. The naval guns are firing, be sure to shoot her down, and notify everyone to prepare for battle. An officer said disapprovingly, My lord, what about it? It's just a woman, and a random group of people can solve it. D. Before he finished speaking, he was slapped. Idiot, this is the woman who killed Black Dwarf. If you want to kill me, I won't stop you. The officer shrank his neck, just because he is reckless doesn't mean he is stupid. Boom. 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 A series of artillery fires fired at Carol. Carol didn't change his face, he didn't even have the idea of leaning down to avoid, and rushed straight up. Countless shells hit Carol, and the sky was filled with flames. Carol rushed out of the sea of flames in an instant, and the flames of the explosion seemed to be the background board. Real men never look back at explosions, this sentence applies to her as well. It's impossible. Ebony Ma yelled in a frenzy. Boom, there was a loud noise, and the whole holy place number two trembled. Carol, covered in golden energy radiance, directly penetrated holy place number two. The energy radiance on his body seemed to have dimmed a lot, but the speed did not decrease, and he disappeared into the vast night sky in an instant. The scrolls were at stake, and there was no time to stay and fight the gang. Besides, the current situation is enough for Thanos to have a headache. Well, Thanos stole Thor's house to help him steal it back. The spaceship was pierced through, a large number of control devices were destroyed, the control system failed, and the naval guns that were still firing were instantly dimmed. Countless Zarita soldiers were instantly sucked out of the spaceship, and died in a vacuum in just half a minute. No. Ebony Ma can do nothing but impotent rage, he couldn't imagine what Thanos would look like when he came back and saw the house was demolished. When the Jing team demolished the house, Mie Lu was taking Gamora up the hill of the Vomir Starball. Red Skull floated slowly. Welcome, Thanos, son of Alars. Gamora, daughter of Zihoberi. Thanos twitched his lips, he thought the other party would say that Gamora belonged to his daughter. Who are you? You know us? Thanos asked in a deep voice. I, a cursed man, know everyone who comes here. Thanos interrupted him. I'm here to find Soul Gem. I know that everyone who comes here has this purpose. But, you should know that, as the most mysterious infinite gems, it takes a lot of money to get it. I'm ready. Thanos looked fearless. Everyone who came here thought they were ready at first, and they were all wrong. In the end, the rough was never taken away. Red Skull laughed at himself and led them up to the high platform on the top of the cliff. Soul Gem is the most special of all infinite gems precisely because it contains unique wisdom. Tell me what it wants. Thanos is getting impatient. He didn't have so much time to waste, but this guy who was neither human nor ghost kept talking about it. Red Skull smiled and continued. In order for everyone who uses Soul Gem to realize its preciousness, the rough stone needs to be sacrificed. Sacrifice what? Life. Red Skull said in an emotionless voice. In order to get the Soul Gem, you have to jump from here and give up your life. Soul for soul, this is an eternal transaction. Both Thanos and Gamora stared wide-eyed. Thanos asked suspiciously, didn't the gem have no owner again? He will now understand why so many people came to look for gems with high ambitions, but in the end they failed. Red Skull chuckled, shook his head and said, so, no one has ever been able to get the soul gem, because, none of them can afford the price. Thanos frowned deeply. Isn't this an endless loop? Get the rough stone and die. Then there is still a use for sacrifice. Ha 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 ha. There was a burst of wanton laughter, and Gamora taunted loudly. Is this fate? Even if you find the gem, you still can't get it. Thanos frowned deeply, his purple potato face turned into a moldy purple potato. If someone voluntarily dies for the raw stone, after the sacrifice is successful, can the original cloth be taken away by another person? Thanos asked with a hint of expectation, even though he himself thought it was impossible, after all, it was too easy. If possible, there are many subordinates around him who are willing to sacrifice their lives for him. As a villain, he also has subordinates who regard death as home. This is also a kind of charisma. Red Skull shook his head. Once the owner approved by Soul Gem dies, the rough stone will be hidden again, waiting for the next owner. Red Skull murmured to himself. Although you were ugly, you were quite a careerist. Give up. This is God's will. You are doomed to have no chance to realize your so-called ideal. This is the first time Gamora has seen Thanos's tangled expression, and she feels that she is so excited from the head to the soles of her feet. After all, Thanos didn't have the courage to sacrifice his life for righteousness, or in other words, he wasn't ready to die here now. After hesitation for a long time, he whispered, Let's go first. I can't die until I complete my dream. The universe still needs me. Wait until I get the other gems. 
Come and get the soul gem at last. De Nuo Zhao ran. He had already thought about it, and when he snatched a few gems in Thor's hand, he would come to exchange his life for the rough stones. He believed in his own will, enough to snap his fingers before he died. Just about to turn around, Thanos suddenly felt a thrill. This is an instinct developed through countless years of fighting in the universe, which makes him extremely sensitive to dangerous perceptions. Drink. With a loud shout, he punched towards the rear. Boom, Thanos' fist and Red Skull's fist collided heavily, making a loud noise like a planet colliding. As soon as Red Skull's fist made contact with Thanos, it returned to its original form. Thanos sees Thor's nastiest face again. Relying on countless years of accumulated combat experience, Thanos concentrated all his strength in a slightly hasty punch, and knocked Thor back with one blow. Thanos also took a few steps back, almost reaching the edge of the cliff, and he staggered a bit before stabilizing himself. Thor definitely would not let go of such a good opportunity, and quickly rushed forward, pushing Thanos off the cliff. The two rolled and fell. Thanos reacted quickly and slapped Thor's chest with all his strength. The Man of Steel's strong defenses made Thanos' arms go numb, but he had a victorious expression on his face. Because this blow pushed Thor heavily to the bottom of the cliff, and he took advantage of this counterforce to soar up to the top of the cliff again. Thanos grinned grimly, and it seemed to him that Thor had shot himself in the foot. Boom. A thick thunderbolt fell from the sky, bombarding Thanos head on, and Thanos in midair was unavoidable. The rising momentum was suppressed by the thunder, and Thanos fell like a kite with a broken string but saw Thor who should have fallen was suspended in the air. Stupid? Grandpa can fly. Thanos. He felt like he hated the bloody prince of Asgard even more now. Oh no, it should be the king of Asgard now. Thanos will regret it to death, he didn't even bring the overlord heavenly blade, otherwise he could be used as a propeller rotating at high speed, pulling himself up. Boom, after a blow, Thanos finally fell to the bottom of the cliff. The moment he landed, orange light bloomed, and an extremely cold force invaded Thanos' body. Soul Gem. On the ground at the bottom of the cliff is a very mysterious black magic array. Relying on this magic circle, the crisis of Soul Gem can be fully released, taking away anyone's soul. Even Thor, who is a god, has a strength that is hard to find an opponent in the entire universe, and it is still very dangerous to face him in this place. Not to mention Thanos. Although his will is amazing, it is still difficult to control the power of the Soul Gem. In just an instant, the soul began to leave the body. Ah 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 ah. Thanos let out a painful roar, and clenched his fists at the moment his soul was swallowed. A glaring green light burst out suddenly, and even faintly suppressed the orange light of soul gem for a moment. Time freezes instantly on Thanos, and the soul that was about to leave the body returns instantly. Boom. Before he had time to catch his breath, Thanos stomped his feet vigorously, leapt high like a sky monkey, and landed on the cliff, panting heavily. It was terrible. Just at that moment, he even experienced the feeling of death. It all happened so quickly, Thanos jumped back before Thor knew it. Not only Thor, even Soul Gem didn't react. The expression of Gamora who witnessed the whole process is indescribable. Thanos looked at the faint orange light below his eyes with lingering fear, and recognized Soul Gem. He finally understood that the gemstone had already been in Thor's hands, and he was deliberately setting him up. Turning around and about to speak, a cold light flashed in front of my eyes subconsciously raised his right hand and shot horizontally. Boom, crack. If it is an authentic infinity gauntlet, it is made of the same material as the Stormbreaker, at least it can barely block the blow of the tomahawk. But now Thanos is holding an imitation, which will explode with a snap of his fingers. Naturally, he cannot withstand the power of the Stormbreaker. If the axe cuts hard, he might hide his glove. After all, Thanos didn't dare to use the glove as a fist glove, and slapped hard to make the direction of the axe blade slightly staggered. The tomahawk that was originally slashing at the neck was slightly deflected, and fell on the shoulder. There was a heart-piercing pain, and Thanos' left arm snapped. Thanos just grunted, gritted his teeth and immediately raised his right hand to make a fist, time gem and mind gem fired rays to bombard them at the same time. The power of the gem ray is very powerful. Although it is not as powerful as the thunder and lightning released by Thor, it is not much weaker than the energy wave of Captain Marvel. It is a very practical long-range attack method for short-handed soldiers like Thanos. The ray bombarded Thor, although it couldn't do any damage, it still successfully knocked him back. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Thanos picked up the broken arm and fled. After controlling the soul gem before, Thor devoured Red Skull's soul immediately. This product is not a good thing originally. Thinking of Thanos coming back here, he simply laid an ambush and asked Loki to use illusion to turn him into a Red Skull. As for the difference in soul, 
Soul Gem can handle it, and it is easy to deceive Thanos, a pure fighter. Using the mysterious magic circle under the cliff, the possibility of success is still very high. It's a pity that Thanos couldn't be fooled. Although Thor temporarily changed his plan and forced his hands, he still let the other party escape, a catastrophe. But this result is not bad, at least one of his claws was chopped off, and Stormbreaker's power restrains gems, even Time Gem can't easily recover. Soul Gem slowly floated up and returned to Thor's hand. It's worthless. Thor scolded. I sent it to you, and let him run away. Just now, it almost succeeded, if the Soul Gem successfully devoured Thanos' soul, everything would be over. It turned out that this product was unreliable, it was reversed by Time Gem at the critical moment, and the key point was to let Thanos jump back. Soul Gem is speechless. It is also depressed to death now, the duck on its mouth actually flew and said. Thor withdrew his thoughts, looked at Gamora, and said with a smile, I saved your life, do you know? Gamora looked at him suspiciously. The real test of Soul Gem is to sacrifice the person you love the most, and the person Thanos loves the most is you. What? Gamora's eyes widened and she denied it, impossible. This is definitely not love, that butcher, he never loved anyone. That purple sweet potato essence loves you the most, if he wants to sacrifice, it can only be you. Soul Gem's emotionless voice came. After a brief moment of excitement, Gamora fell into silence and asked in a low voice, so, he will choose to sacrifice me, right? Thor nodded. Yes, he once escaped his destiny, and then the Titan Star was destroyed. So this time, he will not escape again, even if he needs to sacrifice you. For his goal, he can pay any price. Even though he is an enemy, Thor never chews his tongue behind his back, he doesn't bother to do so. Definitely face-to-face -face gunfire, to fight Thanos, is part of the tactics. Thanos is a very contradictory person. Strictly speaking, he is not even a pure bad guy. Everything he does is for the balance of the universe. Unfortunately, his line is fundamentally wrong. Good people do bad things, it is more terrible than a bad person doing bad things. Because no matter how many evil deeds he does, in his opinion, it is only for your own good. In fact, the real bad guys don't have to be hostile, just like Gao Tianjun and Jin Bin, they are not good things, but Thor is still very happy to cooperate with them, because they all have their own desires. On the contrary, Thanos has no desires and desires, only the ideals in his heart. If this ideal is correct, it's okay to say, that Thanos just went astray, and it's AF asterisk King Dog. Gamora didn't speak. Thanos boarded the donut spaceship, rushed into the space wormhole without thinking about anything, and confirmed that Thor did not catch up, so he was relieved. The majestic overlord of the universe will also be hunted down one day. Thinking about it, it's really ironic. Clenching his fist, the light of time gem was activated, and the broken left arm and shoulder wound were spliced together. To some extent, Time Gem is equivalent to unlimited full health, no matter how many injuries you suffer, you can instantly full blood. Um. Thanos frowned suddenly. He found painfully that there seemed to be a mysterious force in his wound that was resisting the Time Gem. He didn't know that this was because Stormbreaker originally had the function of suppressing the power of gems, not to mention a Time Gem. Even if six gems were gathered together, it would not be the opponent of Stormbreaker. The ability to go back in time is restricted, and the injuries that could be recovered instantly can only be recovered slowly by relying on the powerful physique of the Titans. Thanos bared his teeth in exasperation. Turned on the screen, ready to set the destination, let's go back to the base camp first. The screen lit up and was instantly swiped by countless communication messages, Thanos stared dumbfounded at the message from Ebony Maw. Thanos' rage was so mad that he smashed the screen with a punch. He never thought that after he left for a while, his home would be gone. If Thor is here, I'm afraid I'm going to hit him with a sentence stealing people. Ah bah, stealing people keep stealing. Hey. Let me just say, there's no prison in the world that can hold me. Star Lord cheered. Holy place number two was demolished by a guy who reads as shocking team, and wrote, Erha, everyone was busy repairing and fleeing. Who cares about a group of funny comparisons? So Star Lord and his party found their spaceship dragged to the warehouse as if they were walking at their own home and escaped from Thanos' palm through the hole knocked out by the shock team. No, Quill, you escaped only because a super super powerful lady attracted firepower. Damn it, I know, I don't need you to remind me. Xingju became angry from embarrassment. However, this lady's fighting style is very familiar. Rocket Raccoon fell into deep thought. The routine of flying over without dodging or evading, hitting the spaceship in the face. Ah, uh, it reminds me of Thor. Back then on Xandar, Thor used this trick to blow up Ronin's spaceship, and swallowed a mouthful of fragments as a price. But this woman looks tougher, Drax concluded. This is definitely from, and Thor also learned from Carol. 
Wait, did we forget something important? The mantis woman suddenly asked with some doubts. She usually doesn't talk much. Although joining the big circle of Guardians of Galaxy made her very happy, and her partners treated her very well, it was still difficult for her to get along with Star Lord and them. Not because of alienation, but because, I'm often out of tune with you guys for not being perverted enough. I'm Groot. Groot said weakly. Well, Gamora bought most of Groot's games. The previous one who was smashed because he lost the game, and who didn't have a game console, remembered the person who bought a game console. Oh. Damn. Star Lord slapped his thigh and yelled, We actually left Gamora beside Thanos. No, we have to save her. Everyone knows that Holy Place number 2 is dying when they go back at this time, even if they are severely injured, it is enough to crush them to death. But at this moment, none of the Guardians of Galaxy members objected. The unanimous vote passed, the spaceship turned, and a group of people galloped towards Holy Place Number 2. Queel. Where are you flying to, you idiot? Quickly open the spaceship and let me go to the hospital. In a simple spherical flight device, Gamora's shout came. Forehead. What happened? How did Thanos let you go? Inside the spaceship, Star Lord asked Gamora suspiciously. Gamora shook her head. It's not that he let me go, Thanos took me away, and went to Vomir Star to find the Soul Gem. There, Thor attacked him, and Thanos, who was seriously injured, no longer cared about me. Is Thanos dead? Drax asked his most concerned question. No, I was just seriously injured. Gamora's eyes showed a hint of crazy pleasure. Shingju rested his chin in one hand thoughtfully. By the way, Quill, can you contact your father? A. Shingju was stunned for a moment when his thoughts were interrupted, and he said with a bit of pain, My father has been dead for a long time. I mean Yandu, what's wrong? Contact the Marauders, use this opportunity to siege Thanos' army and end this once and for all. Holy Place number 2 was hit by Captain Marvel. Fortunately, this is space, so there is no crash, anyway, it is not completely over. However, a large amount of equipment was still destroyed, repairs were nowhere in sight, and many ammunition depots exploded, making all this worse. Except for Thanos himself, most people on Thanos' spacecraft cannot survive in a vacuum, and the airtightness of space equipment is often very strict. However, a very huge hole in the entire horizontal pipe directly caused a large number of soldiers to be exposed to the vacuum. It is conservatively estimated that the losses of soldiers on Holy Place 2 are at least three layers, and the losses of various weapons and fighter planes are even more numerous. It's no wonder that Thanos, who has always been moody and angry, would blow his hair. It can be said that the shock team's collision has brought more losses to Thanos than Serta has brought to Asgard. After all, apart from the guards of the Golden Hall, the people of Asgard have not lost much, and the main house is in ruins. With the powerful infrastructure ability of the Asgard people, this loss is nothing. For Thanos, it was one of the heaviest blows ever. Especially in this weak period when Thanos himself has been severely injured and urgently needs to rely on the power of his subordinates. On weekdays, Thanos' own strength lies there. No matter how lazy the subordinates are or how ugly the loss is, as long as the boss is out, the final decision will be made immediately. But the boss will lose seeing Thanos holding his broken arm, many soldiers had weird expressions on their faces, even the Black Order showed an idle collapsing wail. Thanos has been running rampant in the universe for so many years, and it's not like Thanos has never lost. Just like when he broke into Asgard, Thanos, who thought he was invincible, was brutally beaten by Odin. But at the time, it was safe and sound, and there was no shame in losing to Odin. Well, Odin back then was a super boss in the universe, and for many people, Odin was the top ceiling level. Getting out of Odin's hands is already an epic achievement. But now it's different. Being abused by Odin and being abused by Thor are two different things, let alone being beaten so badly. Others don't care if Thor is a sneak attack or not, they only know that you were chopped off by a second generation god. No matter how good Thor is, his reputation in the universe is just like that. Thor's real rise is only in the past two decades. For Asgard, which is still an ancient race in the universe, 20 years is actually just a flick of a finger. Most people's impression of Thor hasn't changed yet, thinking that this is a super second generation ancestor who doesn't know the heights of the sky and the earth, even if he blows the sky and his age is there. Well, in fact, it corresponds to Thor 20 years ago, so it is true. There are not many people who really know Thor's strength, after all, the opponent does not have many convincing records. In the eyes of many people, Things on a remote planet like the Earth are like pecking at each other, which is not convincing. Giants of Jotunheim was killed by Loki with Bifrost. The Dark Elves were driven to extinction by Odin. Sakaar Duel Champion. To be honest, there are not many real masters who are too lazy to engage in this stuff. 
Egg's matter is also Star-Lord's family affairs, so there is not much publicity. Originally, killing the accuser Ronan was barely considered a convincing record, but since his cowardice on Earth 20 years ago, Ronan has been questioned by countless people for parallel imports. After turning around, I suddenly found that Thor's really outstanding achievements are all against Thanos himself. He has become famous, and Thanos has become the front wave who died on the beach. Thanos offended a lot, and most of them were afraid of his great strength and could only swallow his anger. It can be foreseen that many forces will feel that Thanos is not as strong as imagined, and the Legion has suffered heavy losses, and it is almost inevitable to take advantage of the fire. You failed. A gloomy voice sounded. No, I have not. Thanos flatly denies it. Let me cooperate with you to launch Ragnarok, and I cooperated. But you didn't achieve your goal at all. Ragnarok has been solved by Asgard for some reason, and the soul gem that was determined to win was taken away, and it was almost disabled by a sneak attack. Isn't this considered a loss? As long as I'm alive, I can't lose. They can win countless times, and I only need one. Only one time, and I can really win. The voice on the other side fell silent, and said in a low voice, but you can't win even once. You are not Thor's opponent. The gap between you and him will only get bigger and bigger, not to mention that the other party has mastered the four infinite gems. As for your subordinates, there are only three of the strongest Black Order left, except for that octopus face that can restrain my good junior, and basically even ordinary Avengers have the possibility of overturning, which can't affect the overall situation. What exactly are you trying to say? Thanos asked in a low voice, frowning. He knew that what the other party said was true. Your plan could have been successful in the first place, but the reason why it rotted like this is entirely because of one person. Back then, my teacher. Ancient One said that the future direction of the world revolves around him. Thor. So, my great master can consider helping you deal with this Asgardian. Without this man, surely no one can stop you anymore? Then what do I have to pay? Thanos said gravely. Destroy the three holy places of New York, London, and Hong Kong, and invalidate the seal of Kamar Taj, so that my master can come into this world. He will devour Asgard for you. In exchange, you and your army must destroy Kamar Taj Taj. Why is it so obsessed with calling for the destruction of Kamar Taj? Thanos frowned. Destroying the holy place is easy to say, but Kamar Taj, as a super organization that has been passed down for countless years, has a great background, and it will not be a loss to forcefully break through itself. If your master can really descend, are you still afraid of a Kamar Taj without the Ancient One? Sombra fell silent. After a long time, he said, my master was under duress and had to promise a despicable person that he would not swallow the earth. The great master will never break his promise, so we can only appear on the stage when the other party is gone. Thanos. He took this, great master, a little lower. It's fine if you don't want to keep the promise, isn't the treaty just for tearing up these days? But this great god wants to save face, secretly supporting other spokespersons to do some sneaky things like a mouse. Or does it mean that the promise object is gone, and the promise will be effective? To be honest, Thanos looked down on each other. But now, for my great goal, I had no choice but to cooperate with it. Thanos guessed right, and word of his condition quickly spread throughout the galaxy. Xingju and his group can't fight. Their mouths were all big, and under the publicity of several of them, many people knew the situation Thanos was facing now. I was seriously injured, and Holy Place Number 2 was beaten to pieces. The cause of everything is because Thanos took advantage of Odin's death and tried to get Ragnarok. Countless people who eat melons eat melons with great joy, and many people are considering the feasibility of taking advantage of Thanos. In fact, Thor blamed Carol for dismantling the spaceship. After all, Star-Lord doesn't know Captain Marvel, and the name Carol is completely unfamiliar to him. In fact, there are very few people in the entire galaxy who know about Captain Marvel. After all, she has been on the other side of the universe as a peacekeeper for so many years, several galaxies away from here. The Kree people know it, but in their view, this involves their own dark history, and concealed this history with the idea of not being able to expose their family ugliness, and announced to the outside world that the member of the Star Troopers, fourth, died in battle. On Earth, the members of the Avengers Alliance also knew about all this through Natalia who came back, and excitedly held a party that night. Asgard, Chin Gele put her hands on Thor's head, and a series of images suddenly appeared in Thor's mind, which were the integration of the memories Chin Gele read from the minds of the dead Asgard soldiers and Zarita. Come. The pictures are shown from different perspectives. Thor saw Thanos sneaking in with a team of elites, and stopped in front of the Golden Officer's shield. Corvus Glaive tried it with a double-edged gun, but failed to pierce it, and reported to Thanos. The shield level is very high, it is unrealistic to break it by force, and it will be discovered. 
Once the opponent responds, they can gather the power of the entire Asgard to besiege us. Thanos nodded, he had been mentally prepared for this a long time ago. Turning around, he said in a deep voice, you can open the door, right? A man in a black and green magician robe stepped forward. Yes. But don't forget to promise that we will help you take the gauntlet and destroy Asgard, and you must destroy the three holy places on earth. As he chanted the spell, a golden portal appeared in front of him, slowly grew in size, and then, disappeared in invisible. The body of the green-robed magician twitched violently. What's going on? Thanos was annoyed. He was getting impatient with the magician who came to his door to offer a deal. Sure enough, people in the dark dimension are all kinds of unreliable. The forbidden strength here is very high. I must use the power my master bestowed on me. The green-robed man gritted his teeth and drew a new portal. PFF. He spat out a mouthful of old blood, and his expression quickly sank. Go in now, I won't last long. Although the flickering of the portal seemed unstable, it was successful anyway. Thanos quickly entered with the Black Order, and saw the glove inlaid with six gems at first sight. Grabbing the glove, he slapped it hard, and the six gems were instantly shattered. Many people thought it was a fake. However, a completely useless collectible is a dragon that doesn't qualify for Odin's vault. He slowly put the glove on his right hand. Although there are flaws, it is enough to complete my goal. Gems are merely decorative, but gloves are not. It's not as good as the authentic Uru gloves, but at least not as bad as the original gloves studied by Iron Man in history. Thanos nodded in satisfaction, and ordered, Since you're here, definitely keep a souvenir and teach that arrogant Asgard a lesson. The subordinate understood, and walked forward with a helmet, and put it into a ball of flames not far away. With the eternal flame, you were reborn at this moment. The helmet began to stir, and the surrounding temperature was. The resurrected Serta broke through the Golden Hall, and also broke through the protection. Most of the elite soldiers brought by Thanos were killed and injured. Thanos did not expect that at this time in Asgard, someone can resurrect the undead, and someone can read the mind. The picture in his mind disappeared, and Thor showed such an expression. No wonder, he was able to sneak into the royal palace's treasury quietly. It turned out that he accepted Dormammu's power, and he was an old acquaintance. Who is that magician? Chin wondered. It looks like Kamar Taj's magician, but we didn't seem to have seen it there last time. It stands to reason that there won't be too many magicians who can open the door here, even Fatty Wong. The only one who has this ability is Ancient One. Even the current Sorcerer Supreme Doctor Strange is very reluctant. That person does not use his own power. He is Modu, the chief disciple of Ancient One. He left Kamar Taj, I just didn't expect to join Dormammu. Thor pointed to himself. And in this guy's mind, I am the source of cholera. Shaking head, he underestimated the usually low-key Modu magician, and even regarded him as a fool like Fatty Wong. Thor suddenly remembered a certain if series of marvel that he saw in his previous life. In that timeline, Strange never touched the mysterious field in his life, and Mordo became the sorcerer supreme after Ancient One. It seems that it's not that Baron Mordo is useless, but that Strange is too heaven-defying. On the main square of Kamar Taj, a group is training F.A. In this world, there are only a few geniuses like Shi Legend. Most magicians are honestly enjoying the blessings of. The only difference is that the job is changed to training magic. There are hundreds of people in this square alone, and each of them is a small boss level existence in the mortal world. It is conceivable that Kamar Taj has a strong background. To put it bluntly, among the nine realms, apart from Asgard, Kamar Taj is the strongest force that deserves it. Few people dare to invade Kamar Taj. Even if Thanos dares to move Strange for the time gem, if he wants to move Kamar Taj, he needs to think carefully. Thor is clearly not on this list. A bright colorful brilliance flame fell on the open space in front of the square, accompanied by the surging pressure of the gods. The magicians are on the verge of an enemy, and their magic weapons are in place instantly. A voice came from the light, Legend of shit, come out. Everyone in the magician group. Let's break up, this master can't be provoked, anyway, he won't make trouble. Strange took the initiative to greet him, his royal highness Thor's request for punishment is because of Mordo's matter? Thor walked out of Bifrost with a stinking face, you really know everything. Strange invited him into the hall, and said calmly, Modu chose to leave because he didn't agree with the teacher's way of doing things. Thor laughed and said, by the way, Master Ancient One's vision is really not good, how could he teach a bunch of young people? Strange was noncommittal. To each other. The implication is that Odin's education level is not good, and neither Hela nor Loki can worry about it. Anyway, since you saw the plot, why didn't you remind me? Are you not afraid that Asgard will really kneel, or do you have the confidence to fight Thanos alone? Thor asked his doubts. Strange shook his head, 
but the reality is that Asgard hasn't suffered too much damage. If I told you in advance, then the disaster this time will be covered up and become a time bomb that explodes at any time. I don't have enough energy to see all the endings, but from what I've seen, that's when the damage is minimal. Thor nodded, accepting the answer. He also knew that with Modu's stubborn character, he was very dissatisfied with Ancient One's indulgence in sabotaging the plot to the original, and it was inevitable to find trouble for himself. And because of Dormammu's promise, his first target is not strange but himself. It hits it off with Thanos, and it is inevitable to be in trouble. Dormammu is responsible for dealing with Asgard because he can't fight the Earth, and Thanos is responsible for solving the Earth because he can't beat himself. And what about Thanos? Why give him the gem? If it weren't for the time gem, this war would be over. I remember, you and Stark don't seem to be on that good terms? Thor was a little puzzled. Thanos without the time gem knelt down on Vomir star. If he wanted to win, Strange would definitely keep the original stone. Strange couldn't help showing a mysterious smile. This war is longer than you imagined, and death of Thanos will not solve everything. Compared with a rough stone, the existence of Stark is more important. Thor pouted. As long as I'm here, this war will definitely be won. Yes. Strange didn't object. But you can't control the price of victory. But he can. Unexpectedly, the key point came back to Iron Man. Strange's meaning is obvious. In the future he sees, Iron Man is indispensable. Doctor Strange's remarks are actually a bit of a spoiler, and it's very important, Thanos' death is not the end. If nothing else, there's at least one Dormammu. But even if he doesn't come, Thor will have to trouble him sooner or later. After all, he was one of the masterminds behind Ragnarok, although he didn't succeed. Thinking of this, Thor couldn't help laughing. It looks like I'm going to steal your boss, and Dormammu is your good opponent. Strange shrugged. Who knows, maybe you will do all my other jobs by then. So, Thor joked, I helped Kamar Taj out of a big problem, and you gotta show it. The magic of unlimited refills for you. Make a deal. In the laboratory of the Stark building, Stark, who just returned from Wakanda, is typing on the keyboard. I have to say that Wakanda's technology is really good, and the injury can recover 70% to 80% so quickly. On the experimental platform not far away, a headless corpse was lying there. This is Vision. Stark is trying to recreate the artificial intelligence of Jarvis through the former data fragments, and then, revive Vision. Friday, check the target equation. 85% similarity to Jarvis. Stark sighed. The birth of a real intelligent robot, strictly speaking, belongs to the creation of life. He can create an artificial intelligence almost exactly the same as Jarvis, but he can't really give life to the other party. You can't do this. Thor's voice came suddenly. Stark, who was lying on the sofa, glanced at him, not bothered about his sudden appearance in his lab, but asked, I know it's difficult, but there is always hope. No, you have no hope. Thor said indifferently, supposing that Pepperpots kicked you, and then you took a blood sample from Pepperpots, and then used cloning technology to create an identical person, can you treat her as your little girl? Chili? Stark glared at him. Why such an inappropriate metaphor? Definitely doesn't count. Thor shattered his illusion. But you are doing the same thing now. Even if you did copy Jarvis exactly, and then imported consciousness into the vibranium body without relying on the mind gem, the new robot would no longer be its vision, at most it's a twin brother. Stark was silent for a while, and said in a low voice, How could I not know what you said? But what else can I do now? Whether it is vision or Jarvis, the significance to him is extraordinary. Yes. Thor affirmed. The biggest function of time gem is to control the flow of time, just like Doctor Strange was killed by Dormammu millions of times, and finally recovered really? Stark was taken aback for a moment, and then became excited. So, as long as we get back the gems, revive Vision? Definitely. Thor is not fooling around, after all, Thanos did this in the original book. Hum. If Shi Chuanchi hadn't said that Stark would be so useful in the future, he wouldn't bother to enlighten Stark. Asgard began to rebuild. Thor saved Asgard as a rookie king, prevented the unavoidable fate in the legend, got everyone's approval, and the cohesion of the whole Asgard was unprecedentedly high. Knowing the results of Thor's fight against Thanos, the Avengers are full of confidence, and the morale that was hit before suddenly rebounds. Many people throughout the galaxy are considering whether to form a group to seek revenge from Thanos. I didn't dare to do Thanos before, mainly because this guy is too fierce, no one can stop him from chopping people, and there is a lack of someone who can withstand him, but now I have. The only ones who are gloomy are the Kree. They originally thought that Thanos would be free to deal with Captain Marvel after finishing his work, but they didn't expect that Thanos would have no chance of survival. On the battlefield, he was defeated by Carol. The opponent is an army alone. Once her immediate boss, Yang Luoj, had a faint premonition, 
this time, I am afraid that she will really end everything. Thanos is pretty much pushed to the edge of a precipice. If he dragged on and waited for his former enemies to form an alliance to cooperate with the Avengers, he would have no chance of winning. Right now, the only way is to forcibly launch a full-scale invasion of the Earth in the shortest possible time, destroy the Lord Daxon Palace and release Dormammu. Song you held Thor back to win. Thanos glanced at his newly installed robotic arm, then at Holy Place Number 2, which was still under maintenance, and finally ordered helplessly, prepare to attack, Earth. 